to create a spec pass, basically we want to turn off uh, the shading of all components except for the specular. So in our case, that means we want to turn off the skin for the diffuse and use parameter uh, and just render the specular component only. So we've already created an ambient diffuse pass here. We can actually reuse uh, some of that work um, to create the specular pass. So by selecting the pass, I can just do Control D to duplicate it. Uh, I could also save that out as a pass preset. So we click on the pass node and hit save, and we can actually save that as a special pass. Um, it's a little easier to just duplicate the pass because this actually persists all the objects within the partitions, whereas saving a pass preset stores only the partitions and the shaders on those partitions. So it's a little easier to work this way. Um, so quickly, let's rename that pass to something relevant, so specular. And now what we want to do is edit the override on the skin to disable the diffuse parameter. So we've got an override there already. Let's just delete the existing entry, which we had. It was a specular and use entry. And we can just select it and do remove mark parameter. We just have to click on the override to refresh the PPG. So now you can see we're rendering with a specular again, and we have no entries in the override. Uh, so what we want to do is just add the diffuse and use parameter here and turn that off. So we go under Material Fong. At the bottom of Fong, you see we have the diffuse and use option. Select it, click outside the trains and Explorer. We just want to toggle that off, so we'll add it as a parameter entry. So there we go, and let's just turn it off. And now you can see we're just rendering the specular component of Dr. Bunsen, which is exactly what we wanted.